All right, Shalom boys here. Well, well, it is raining, and some of the work that I have to do is outside work, so I'm pretty much stuck on the land. Uh, but uh, I wanted to come on here right quick to talk about makeup and the epidemic of missing black women uh, in this country. I was recently reading a statistic about the number of of girls that go missing on a yearly basis uh, in this country, black women that go missing. And it is in the hundreds of thousands. And I got to thinking, um, that's that's a that's a lot of people. That's that's a lot of people, that's a lot of uh daughters uh that's a lot of cousins that's a lot of sisters um that's a lot of mothers uh these are a lot of people that are going missing and uh, very few and far between do uh, these people according to the statistics that they put out um very few people of these uh you know these folks are are, are ever recovered and as a father um there's nothing more terrifying than the idea that your child is 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 missing, uh, could possibly or most likely be in raped, tortured, um, uh, sex trafficked, uh, body parts being uh, sold off to organ places, because this is what's happening. And that's why, you know, I would suggest that everybody go and see uh, the Mel Gibson film, Sound of Freedom, uh, because it's going to tell a very um, disheartening and real story of what's going on out here in this world. Uh, and it's, 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 it's grievous. Uh, and this is why I do all that I can to make sure that, you know, my daughters... Uh, are, are pretty much ne never let out of our sight, and especially when we are uh, out and about. Um, we keep them close because we see um, what's going on in this wicked-ass world. And it's just a sad thing. This is why uh, sisters need uh, covering. Sisters need uh, someone that is going to watch out for them. And, you know, it's amazing. I have recently, uh, there's these videos that come up on uh, YouTube, Twitter, or whatever, um, of women, uh, just young black women, uh, even though some older black women uh, who have very shapely bodies, very pretty, get in the cars of strangers um, that, uh, you know, the guy maybe driving a Lamborghini and it's, and it's, uh, it's, uh, I forgot what they called it. Um, uh, gold digger, gold digger videos of these women getting into, uh, these, these cars from men that they don't know. Um, and just randomly getting in their cars for a hope for financial gain. And the striking similarity that I see, because well, you know, uh, you get these stories again of these people just going missing. You know, they were last seen here. They were last seen there. They were last seen here. Um, but nobody never saw them actually disappear. They don't know what the circumstances surrounding them dis being disappeared. Uh, they don't know if they were interacting with this man or not. Uh, they don't know if they got into a Lamborghini or something like that. You, you see the You see the striking similarity? Like you don't know. Um, and this is why it's so important to teach uh, our young women uh, how to engage and how to interact uh, when they're in public, what they need to watch out for, because it seems as though in this in this day and age, people are totally oblivious of their surroundings. They're 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 walking down the street uh, with, with with their cell phone in their hand. Uh, and uh, not only him, they're looking at their cell phone. They're actually strolling social media. They are uh, not aware of what's going on around them. They're, they're completely oblivious. 
And this seems to be a, a huge problem. Um, uh, you hear sisters um, going on, and I just now had a, a personal story come through of uh, a woman that has a child and her, her daughter wants to go to um, Arizona or something to meet uh, some white man on the, this is happened to be African-American uh, uh, young girl or a black young girl, whatever you want to call it. Um, but she had to talk her daughter out of going uh, and meeting this man that she's never seen before. Um, uh, th this is what's going on. And no, and again, nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to link up the two. Um, it's sad. You don't, you don't see the linkage. You don't see the problem. Um, because there's documented evidence. There's the gold digger, um, uh, series and you can watch these videos all day long. I mean, I can link 20, 30, 50, a hundred of them of women just getting in the cars with men. Um, just off the fact that they got a nice car and you don't know where these people, because think about it. If they can get this on camera and it be a stunt, could you imagine how many times this stuff is happening? How many times sisters get flewed out and then disappear? I personally think that there's a direct link. Um, uh, because you never know. Uh, you know, how people are interacting, and it just leads me to uh, this, you know, ponder that, uh, for those of you who, um, you know, these things are going on in society, because, you know, I, I try and make sure personally that there's a damn near zero probability um, uh, for someone to uh, remove my child uh I, it, it's it, hey, you know we we through training and through monitoring, um, teaching them how to engage in society, um, teaching them to make sure that they 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 have their head up and it's on the swivel, um, making sure they go out by twos, um, so somebody has a backup or somebody can watch somebody's back, um, uh. All of these things can prevent uh, not having a job. I mean, I, that's a whole different um, topic right there, right? But uh, if they're in the cover of their husband and they and, and, and they are operating in a fashion that um, uh, is conducive to uh, the roles in which Yah uh, assigned them to, to, to do and to be, um, I think we'll have a whole lot less of this, this, these, 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 um, these abductions. Uh, that's my personal uh, opinion on it. Uh, that that's all it is. Um, but the interesting thing, uh, that I wanted to bring up, uh, was the second part was the fact that, you know, when these people go missing, uh, I always see, uh, the main picture of the person that is gone missing. So you see the main picture, and the main picture is uh, of a woman that has on a, 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 a I just now saw one today, uh, just now, and this is why I'm doing this video, um, Tiffany Simone or something, uh, I gotta look up her uh, information, but somebody's saying that this person is missing, and the first thing that I do is I looked at the picture, and the, the person has on, uh, uh, it looks to be fake eyebrows, uh, they look to have uh, on a lot of makeup, they look to have on um, uh, nails and uh, a lot of eyeliner and um, and, uh, and and a wig or, or, of some sort, a weave of some sort, and it, and it and it got me to thinking that if this person has been abducted, um, three, five, you know, five days, seven days, um, do you think that they're gonna look like that um, in the uh, ads that people put up as the 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 picture? of the person that's being abducted? It makes no sense at all. I mean, if a person is going to, because we all know that when these women take off their makeup 
They look t like a totally different person. They don't even look like the same person. I mean, you could, again, the, the, the internet uh, and Facebook is rife with women that totally change the total image and how they look based on using makeup, based on the whole function of using makeup. Uh, I know personally, friends and family, um, exes, uh, you know, baby mom, all of them, they look totally different when you take off the makeup and when they have the makeup on. It's like looking at two totally different people. So how is it that you're going to attempt to um, uh, correctly identify somebody that's been snatched um, or if their body's laying around or what, whatever have you, do you think they're going to have all that makeup on? Do you think they're going to have that weave on? Do you think uh, 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 that they're going to look the way that they look as you presented them uh, in the picture? Again, the picture of someone I just now saw that is missing. Um, I didn't look for further pictures. Sometimes, um, uh, you know, it, we have such t short attention spans here in this country. Um, but the average person will just look at the picture and look at the post or whatever, because that's what it was like, you know, such and such is missing and had a picture of the person. No further information was provided. They didn't have a multitude of pictures, you know, going across the screen of them in different settings and looking different or whatever. It was just that one picture. So it's going to be di very difficult if somebody does spot one of these individuals because, Nine times out of ten, and you have all of the data that you need uh, on social media to see what I'm talking about. Uh, women getting flued out uh, by people that they met the first time. Women, black women, um, uh, 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 getting into uh, cars uh, with men that um, uh, will pay them or they think that they're going to get some type of financial um, uh, uh, benefit. Uh, this is a, you can see videos of it, uh, uh, many videos, gold digger prank videos, um, women getting flued out, um, women that just walk down the the the, the street, um, uh, with their head buried in their cell phone, not aware of anything that's going on, women that um, are out late at night. I, mean, I can go on and on and on about all of these things, and we all know uh, if we can objectively look at them. Um, uh, that anybody shouldn't be just walking down the street uh, without paying attention, but they do. Um, no one should be just getting into a stranger's car uh, just because he has a nice car and he got game. I, I, I don't think, who would agree that that is the appropriate thing for a woman to do? Who would agree with that? Who would say, um, you know, that's a wise thing to do. There could be consequences behind that. Uh, how many times you see uh, women talk about getting flued out and 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 they get beaten, robbed, and, and you know all of these things. And these 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 stories are a plethora of them on social media. You can look it up all day long. As much to be desired, um, uh, we need more uh, education. We need more um, awareness uh, on these kinds of things because they're happening. Um, and I keep on repeating myself. You can see hundreds of gold digger videos of women getting into men's cars. You can see hundreds of videos of women not paying attention, just hundreds um, women getting flued out, um, all times it's the all risky behavior, very, very risky behavior. Um, uh, and, in, and until we, uh, address these things, uh, we don't know because we don't know what was going on at the time of abduction. Nine times out of 10, this stuff is not even caught on camera. Like the moment this person disappeared. No, it's not like that. It's, it's not happening like that. These people are just getting snatched off the streets or could be getting flued out in times where they get flued out, nigga, because you hear them stories all the time as well. Um, uh, uh, or getting in the men's cars um, because they got game. 
We don't know. We don't know. Um, but I do know this, is that unless we uh, deal with these discrepancies, uh, the, 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 you know, these things are going to continue to problem and, 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 and minimize, uh, damn near eliminate um, uh, the abduction of our uh, young sisters. Um, we must implement, we must first acknowledge that these things are taking place. Uh, and then what are the solutions? I, I think I just now uh, listed a couple. Uh, these are things that I'm actively doing myself. Uh, I believe that uh, they will be effective if we uh, do implement these things and, 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 and bring awareness to how uh, our sisters should and should not be acting and the importance of headship um, that would, that I personally believe, again, that would mitigate these losses. So uh, with that being said, what sayeth you? Shalom.